All right, so today we're talking about scatter plots, and we're talking specifically uh, these questions whether or not uh, they have correlation or some type of association. So all this data gets thrown onto this graph, and we're going to decipher or try to decide whether or not the information has some sort of relationship. Uh, we're going to ask about positive or negative. We're going to ask about linear, nonlinear, and then we're also going to talk about outliers. So we'll get on all that. So before we get started, I have all the data over here in this chart that talks about student number, hour studying, and test grade, okay? So in all those, <coughs> uh, the data that we can actually use is the hour studying and test grade. The student number just tells me how many people I asked in the survey. So I don't need this column when I do my work. So all I need to worry about is hour studying and test grade. Now, it's really nice on this worksheet. Notice how our studying is on the x-axis down here. So x and x, okay. And we see the test grade in, percent in percentage is on the y-axis. So we'll put y's there. <clears throat> and because of modern technology, let's go ahead and speed right quick uh, all the data that needs to be on there. So there's all the data I need. It's all right there for us so that we can look at it. Now, taking a look, what type of association is shown? So looking at all of those dots, it looks like most of them are right there, right? There's that one guy on the outside, but for the most part, what's the trend with these dots? It seems like it's going up, right? Or it's positive, okay? So it has a positive type of association. Actually, let's do this. It has a positive association. All right. Number two, is it linear or nonlinear? Again, looking at my picture, all my dots are here, but there's still that one guy out here. But for the most part, again, when we're doing scatter plots, we look for a general answers or most likely. So is it linear or nonlinear? Again, looking at my point, I could see that it's going in a linear fashion, or it looks like a line. It's going to go up, down, left, right, all these other places, but uh, the general idea is that the dots are moving in some sort of a line. So it's actually going to be linear. Okay. All right. Where is our studying clustered? Okay. So clustered is a way of thinking like a group, or there's a whole bunch of them together. So it wouldn't just be like one of them out here or like one down here. The one they're looking for is this one right here. Notice how there's like five all kind of grouped together or close together. That's what a cluster is. So where, where are they clustered? It looks like it's between 3 and 4, so or 3 to 3.5. Okay. And then the last one, number 4. Which point is an outlier? So, again, looking at this graph, all these points seem to be right next to each other. Who's the odd one out, or who looks like an outsider? It's this one right here, right? It looks like he has, doesn't even belong in this graph. If we could redo it, we'd probably throw that out. But it's still important in a scatter plot to keep it. And that's what an outlier is. It's the one that really doesn't belong. And so what point does that? It looks like that is 1, 98. Oh, there we go, 1, 98. So that is how you read and you put the data from a table into a chart. And then you look at those things. So remember, positive means it's going up from left to right. Linear means all the dots are moving in some sort of line or linear fashion. Uh, cluster means a group of them together. And then an outlier means it's the one or maybe a couple of points that seem far away from the rest of the majority. So that is how you answer those questions.